Hello and welcome back. And uh, what I've done basically is I have simply uh, gone ahead and created a project uh, for Swift UI. So uh, all I have done simply uh, took this single view app and uh, click next, provided the project name, and made sure that for the user interface I uh, have selected Swift UI. So if you have developed Swift UI in past, um, like you know, I mean for the past project uh the selection stays same uh so i created like you know uh, other projects in swift ui so that's why my selection stayed as swift ui as soon as you change it to storyboard that's actually the view controller way of doing things uh ui kit and stuff and uh then swift ui is basically the new declarative way of uh developing ui so yeah make sure you have this uh selected swift ui and then you can just uh, proceed like you know uh, just like uh, regular app development uh, for the iOS and uh, finish this to create a project okay so I'm gonna click cancel here and uh, let's uh, once you're done you're gonna land on this uh, screen right here and uh, basically before we start uh, looking into like you know developing our screens let's um, or like looking into into the components let's talk about like you know some of the basic things so uh when you whenever you create a swift ui uh, project uh this uh, is the template that you get by default you get a content view and inside the content view basically you get a body now if you notice the content view actually inherits or extends uh from this view or implements this view now um what is that? So views in Swift UI are basically struct first and foremost, okay? And they conform to a protocol called view protocol, okay? And the view protocol expects to have just one uh, property that needs to be implemented. And this property is called body property, okay? That's why we have this var body, okay? Now, body property has a return type of some view. As you can see here okay uh, now the keyword sum is basically uh, it specifies that the type is an opaque type okay so meaning that compiler does not have to know the exact type that's being returned as long as it knows that it's returning anything that conforms to the view protocol so you're not tying your return value to a specific view, but as long as it actually extends to this protocol, view protocol, uh, it's actually fine. So that's that's why it's known as opaque uh, type, okay? And uh, that's why most of the time whenever, or like, you know, pretty much all the time, whenever you create your Swift UI, you're always gonna be returning some view, okay, for body, all right? Now, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Notice that body uh, program has a body property has no return keyword, uh, and return keyword is missing here, right? And uh, basically, uh, this is a new change uh, starting from Swift 5.1, where the return keyword is not required for single expression functions. Okay, so you, because this is a single expression function, you're not required to have a return for, uh, value. But if you like, you know, add another one, like say for example, if I add uh, another text, uh, what's gonna happen is a uh, compiler would actually start to um, complain that uh, this opaque type had, does not have any return statement. Uh, now you can fix it two ways. You can actually simply say return this text and like ignore the text that you have but the result of this text uh, the complaint here is the result of this text is not gonna be anywhere well there is a there is another way to handle it uh if you've used uh Swift UI before you know like you know this is a stacks and container uh containers come into play uh and we'll, we'll talk about it uh, in a little bit um as we actually proceed our progress through the course uh but let's stay focused on on some of the basics so uh body can return only um basically it does not have any return type uh so because it's returning only one single expression function okay now body can return one object which is of type some value okay so if you want more than 
one view in your UI, then you'll have to actually put the containers, okay? So that's what we talked about, like, you know, having containers in there. Now, container views are the views that contain some other views. And body property can only return on the object. So we return views that are container types. So we can return more than one view wrapped inside a container. Okay, so that's a lot to take in. So let's talk, let's break it down. So let's say if you wanted to, like, you know, similar situation, if you wanted to have two texts, here, text one, and if I copy this and paste it, text two, right? So I cannot uh, do that because body property uh, that conforms to the view protocol can only return one view. It has to conform to that one view. So what we can do is uh, we can simply say um, we stack. okay? This is one of the container types, and I can actually wrap this. Uh, these two texts inside that V stack. Now, technically, if you look at, we are only returning one, one functional statement, right? One expression function. So, with V stack, that's what we are returning. But it doesn't matter what V stack contains, because V stack, V stack's internal property says that V stack will return, uh, like you know, some elements contained inside it. But for body. It's actually satisfied because it's only seeing one one expression function that's being returned. Okay, so hope uh, that is uh, that is clear. Now here uh, we are using VStack, uh, which is a container that can hold more than one view in vertical direction. That's why VStack, vertical stack, and uh, we are using this trailing closure here. And inside that trailing closure we are initializing our views, all right? So we are actually putting these views inside this trailing closure. Now there are some other properties related to VStack and we're gonna explore each and every aspect of like, you know, what those other properties are uh, as we progress through the course. But uh, for the introduction, uh, let's go through some of the basic things uh, really quickly. So this is, uh, this is it for this video. In the next video, let's talk about containers, okay? And uh, let's talk a bit about containers, what they are, what they do, and stuff like that, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.